I'm a cosmologist and particle physicist, and although I don't look through telescopes, when people look through telescopes, I get to look at what they look at. I get to use their data to understand the universe. I'm an outreach director for the Institute for the Science of Origins and head of the program in evolutionary biology. And one of the things we uh, have been doing is running a travel program where we've taken people to CERN, uh, which is the big particle accelerator in Switzerland, and to see cave art in the Pyrenees. It's really uh, fulfilling to take a group of people that are interested in the same sorts of things that you are, to be able to share the science that you get excited about with these folks that also get excited about it. The great thing about Hawaii is it has some of the best telescopes in the world. You want to put them on top of mountains, out in the middle of the ocean or on the west coasts of, of continents where the air is nice and smooth and you're above the atmosphere. And so Hawaii has some of the great telescopes in the world. I'm there to, to talk to you about what does this mean for our understanding of the universe? How has our understanding of the universe been changed by the data from these telescopes and other telescopes around the world? Hawaii is a unique opportunity to see evolution in action because you have, for example, the Hawaiian honey creeper. They arrived about five million years ago and have differentiated on the different islands as they've arisen. Now it's turned into one of the best ecotourism places in the world. We have the origin of the earth and how the plates move around it. You have the, the Pacific plate, which is moving. Hopefully we'll see some of the, the hot mag, the hot lava, but we'll definitely see some of these volcanoes there. So we're gonna be going to Molokai, which is an unusual island. Most tourist things don't go to Molokai. It was formerly a leper colony. Now it's turned into one of the best ecotourism places in the world. It's always an amazing group of people, and there's always people on the trip who know more than we do about about the things that we're not you know, complete experts on. It, it's kind of like a seminar on wheels. And it, like in a good seminar, you have people asking questions that other people might not have articulated at just that moment that really enrich the experience for everybody. Dinners become these opportunities for reflecting on all the fantastic the fantastic sights we've just seen, how interesting they were, the science that we've just learned. I think people are going to really enjoy not just the sights and sounds and the nature that we'll uh, encounter, but being with a community of like-minded people. We've found in our past tours that people really form lasting uh, 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 associations after this.